My name is Michael Molino. I'm here today at JTEC. We're doing transmissions. And here we have a standard double counter shaft transmission. Right now it is in neutral. You can see everything is moving and you see these three sliding sliding collars right here. That means it's not in gear. So if I slide this in, this in I'm going to line it up. Now it is in first gear. And from back here, now you can see this moves along with everything inside. When I take this back out, it is back in the neutral. And the same thing going on and on. This will be set, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now the reason why it's backwards is because this, this is a standard 5-speed transmission that has overdrive. So, if this was a direct transmission, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But since it's overdrive, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so what you have here is your basic two counter shaft transmission. The reason why you have two counter shafts is because if you have 1,400 pounds of torque coming from your engine, that's too much for one counter shaft to handle. So, Eaton Fuller has patented the, um, the design of two counter shafts. To, to evenly disperse the torque so the one counter shaft doesn't break. Now Mac on the other hand they have three counter shafts but you really only need two but Mac is their own, own manufacturer so they can do what they want. Now when you switch gears you'll see this back part right here it'll start turning faster once you put it into gear. See I'm gonna put it in first gear now. Hold on. See now it's in first gear you can see the back end's turning a little slow. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna take it out of first gear. I'm gonna put it in a second, and you see now it's moving a little bit faster. All right, I'm gonna take it out of second. I'm gonna put it into third. Now you can see how fast these gears are turning, and it's not the back end isn't moving as fast as the gears, but it's getting close. Now I'm gonna take it out of out of third. Put it put it into fourth. No, I mean fourth. No, yeah, my bad. Put, take it out of third, put it into fourth, and now it, the um, the drive shaft speed is getting up to where it's almost even with the amount of speed turning from the gears. And now, once I take it out of fourth, I'm putting it into fifth or its overdrive gear. And the reason why you have overdrive is so you can climb hills easier without putting as much stress on your transmission. 